Welcome back. Now we are in Miami to tour the home of Jacob and Melissa Brillhart, principals of Brillhart Architecture. The home is elevated above, yet beautifully integrated into the lush natural surroundings. The Brillhart House, as they have fittingly called it, is a true labor of love, a bright modern homage to tropical living. Hello, my name is Jacob Brillhart. I'm an architect and a professor at the University of Miami School of Architecture. And I'm Melissa Brillhart, and we're both principals of Brillhart Architecture. And welcome to downtown Miami. When we start a project, we really study the landscape and the context, and we really try to integrate the building with the surrounding tropical environment. We found this incredible lot, it's almost a half acre, and as long as a football field with an incredible tree canopy, and we knew this was it. The house is raised five feet off the ground, and the structure is steel and glass, and the interior is 1,500 square feet. So the idea when you approach the house is you merge through a small forest and you would see a lightweight wooden pavilion sitting up lightly on the landscape. The first experience that you see is a series of wooden louvered screens. And they're all operable and so in some portions you can catch views of the sun, but when they're closed it creates this indoor room. It also is a great place to eat at night and just lie out and enjoy a book. As you open the sliding glass doors, you then enter into the living room. There's a long bookcase that spans the full length of the living room, which really was just designed to draw your eye all the way through the space. The formal living space is organized around a central fireplace, and that central fireplace is on direct access with the kitchen, which ties the kitchen and the living together and forms a nice open living space. So all the millwork that you see in the house, including the kitchen, the doors, the bathrooms, all of that is made out of cherry wood, which was reclaimed from a barn in New Hampshire. Being in the kitchen and the kitchen being made out of the cherry makes it feel really warm. But the other interesting thing about the kitchen is that, uh, you know, the island is actually on access with the central hallway. And that was designed intentionally so that as you move through the house, you're actually forced to stop once you come across the island and pause and look out into the sort of expansive green space and nature beyond. So the house has two bedrooms. The master bedroom is located behind the kitchen and the second bedroom is up at the front of the house. Um, but both are really view oriented so that the sliding glass doors can open and you're essentially sleeping outdoors a lot of the time, especially in the winter. We believe this is a great example of tropical modern architecture with the main idea being that we're living in the landscape. We do this by creating a steel and glass house with the incorporation of porches and the orientation of the building and also the use of materials such as wood to create a warm atmosphere and experience. We hope you enjoyed the tour and thank you for stopping by. <laughs>